Samsung is back in the game, and this time nobody saw it coming. The new Exynos 2600 just crushed Geekbench with scores so strong it is rivaling Apple's M3 and even beating Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite. But the real surprise? This is the same chip that looked like a failure just weeks ago. Subscribe if you want to follow whether Samsung really overtakes Apple and Qualcomm in the next generation of smartphones. Here is why this is such a big deal. Geekbench is the standard test that shows how powerful a processor really is. Back in July, the Exynos 2600 managed only 2100 in single core and 7,700 in multi core. People thought it was dead on arrival. But after Samsung's fine tuning, the new test results hit 3,309 in single core and 11,256 in multi core. That is not just an upgrade, it is a total comeback story. So, how did Samsung pull this off? The Prime CPU core was boosted from 3.55 to 3.8 gigahertz, while the other cores also got big speed bumps. Translation apps open faster, gaming feels smoother, and multitasking is more powerful than ever. And here is a little known fact. The Exynos 2600 will be Samsung's first 2 nanometer chip. Smaller transistors mean more efficiency, less heat, and more performance packed into the same space. Add to that a major upgrade in the NPU, the brain for AI, and suddenly your phone can run advanced AI features directly on device, no cloud required. Most signs point to this chip debuting in the Galaxy S26 Pro and S26 Edge early next year. If these results hold true, Samsung may finally erase the bad reputation of Exynos once and for all. So here's Here's the big question for you. In 2026, when you are choosing your next phone, will this chip make you pick Samsung over Apple or Qualcomm? Because what you decide could shape the smartphone war of the future.